بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب زدني علما so the next option will talk about uh, inter vlan routing or the vlan routing using sub interface so this is your second method as per our uh, scenarios now in this we'll be seeing how we can allow the users of vlan 10 uh 20 30 as well as 40 so that they can talk to each other so basically if you have different vlans how we can allow the inter vlan communication with the help of sub interfaces now here what we'll be doing is we still use a router here so in the first two solutions as i said the previous one we need a separate physical gateways right and we are not using it now this time we'll be using a router with sub interfaces okay so this method we call it as a router on stick that's a commonly used or the popular term used in the networks especially when you don't have any layer 3 switches so here we are using router not the layer 3 switch and this is this is better than the previous version because we'll be using only one connection between the router and the switch so if you remember when we connected the vlans when we connect a router so if you are if you have four vlans so we need to have four gateways so four physical gateways but we are not doing uh, like that here so here when we connect multiple vlans we'll be using only one interface which goes and connect to the switch okay and then from there it connects to end users so we'll be using only one interface here let's say f0 by 0 so probably this one interface is sufficient for routing the traffic for multiple vlans so again there is no limit you can have any number of uh, sub interfaces so probably one interface is sufficient but the question is how it is sufficient because how we can make this one physical one single physical interface uh, as a gateway for multiple vlans so what we'll be doing is we are going to create something called a logical interfaces and we call them as sub interfaces so which means physically this is one interface but logically i can create multiple logical interfaces inside one physical interface so which means even though physically you are seeing this as a one link but this can behave just like as if they are separate interfaces and those interfaces are logically separated inside the physical interface and we call them as sub interfaces here so there is only one physical connection but how we are going to separate we still create sub interfaces which means if i have four vlans so i'm going to create how many sub interfaces four sub interfaces if i have 10 vlans i'm going to create 10 sub interfaces if you have 20 vlans you are going to create 20 sub interfaces so physically it is just one link one link sufficient so this will provide a better scalable solution compared to the previous one because if you remember in the previous scenario using a separate a gateway physical gateway is really not a scalable solution so we still requires a gateway but in the form of a logical sub interfaces uh apart from that of course the interfaces will be tagged so of course there is some additional configurations we have to do because when the router is configured with sub interfaces so we do some kind of trunking also here trunking is required and again when the but when the packet is going to the end devices it will be just go without any tag normally but when the packet is routed between the switch and the router sub interfaces it will be tagged we will we'll see this process uh, especially in the next slides when we get into the configuration and those options